Well, one of the memories that I have that I'm going to do for you today is a memory with me working in Boston at a famous place called the Parker House. Oh. And I was a cook and a sous chef there and became really in love with Parker House rolls. Those are which, amazing. Which were invented there. So I'm going to make Parker House rolls today. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn those into a lobster roll with a little different spin, my spin. We made this uh, Parker House dough. It's a very forgiving dough. It's not like a lot of bread doughs. And what I mean by forgiving is that you, you don't have to like do too much to it or worry about it. When we mix that dough together, flour, uh, milk, butter, sugar, etc., we let it proof. And it's almost doubled in size now, mm -hmm. as you can see. So the next step that we want to do, I had it covered, because when dough's proofing like this, you don't really want to have a draft because you want it to proof. You want it, it's, it's alive. Mm -hmm. So the yeast is doing, doing its thing right now. So many people at home these days are baking. Ever since the pandemic happened, they're doing bread, they're making cookies, they're making muffins. I mean, I have some people that are even trying to make croissants and Danish, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of good pastry in Boston. Yes, there is. So we have that. I have what's called bench flour. So I just have excess flour that I'm going to use on my surface here. And then the next step that what we're going to do is we're going to take, take the dough out and cut this proof dough in half. It smells incredible. We have a little bit of the flour, and we're gonna roll this now. Very forgiven dough. Have you had Parker House rolls? I before? have. They're the best rolls. I think they are too. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of melted butter now. This is an important step for the right pocket house roll. Of course, you can get these rolls now practically everywhere, not just at the pocket house, no. right? Everyone has their own rendition of them. Yeah, exactly. And we'll cut this in half. So the thing is, is you want to fold it, but you don't want to go all the way to the end. You want to keep a little, little gap like that. All right, so now we're going to cut these in about five pieces. And the reason for that flap is because the key to them is when you put them over, you want it to proof again. And that's what's going to make them yummy with the, with the butter. You with me? Yeah. All right. OK, so now we're going to let these proof, OK? We covered the Parker House rolls, and you can see now how they're proofed. And they really smell, it, it, it's just amazing. And we're gonna put them right into the oven at 350 degrees. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make um, a mayonnaise. An egg yolk and one egg. And this is a local New Orleans hot sauce called Crystal. Okay. You can use Tabasco, you can use any kind of hot sauce you want. You can see it's sort of reduced, like it's not separated. So we're gonna add now to that white wine vinegar, fresh garlic, of course. And we'll come back and wait for the lemon juice. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a shot of Dijon mustard, about maybe a teaspoon. I like it kind of mustardy. And we'll whisk this. And once it's incorporated, Kim, we'll slowly add, I'm using canola oil, but you gotta drizzle it in slow so it doesn't break. What people do is they, they add the oil too fast and then it breaks. And I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to this when it's finished, but I'm gonna add the lemon juice last. So we're whisking this now to make our aioli. And I don't really want it super thick because this is what we're gonna use for the lobster roll. And one of the things that I get turned off about eating lobster rolls is too mayonnaise-y. Right, do you feel that? Yeah, it's just like gloppy. Perfect. Now, to finish it, obviously a little salt. I'm gonna use a little bit of cayenne just for a little more heat. 
Just a, just a little pinch. And then what I'm gonna do now, Kim, is now I'm gonna add, hopefully no seeds. I'm gonna add the lemon juice now to just kinda add acidity to it, but not too much. And we're gonna just add, keeping about maybe a half a cup. We can always add to the lobster salad, mm -hmm. but it's hard to take away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push this to the side. It'll keep fantastic in the refrigerator. And then what I'm gonna do now is make our lobster salad. So I got fresh lobster meat that's been obviously blanched, cooked. To that, I'm gonna add celery, like lots of celery, just nice and fine like that. A little bit of shallot. And then I have a mixture of tarragon, parsley. Oh, the tarragon smells great. And then here we go, we're just gonna incorporate our ingredients to make our lobster salad. That looks again, beautiful. Yeah, again, not too, not too mayonnaise-y, but just, just enough to coat. Maybe we may be able to add just a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's, that's perfect. So we got our lobster salad. Now what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of salt, just a little. If we wanna add a little pepper, if we want a little bit more acidity, we could add a little bit of lemon juice, just a little bit like that. And we're just gonna let the flavors meld while our Parker House rolls are in the oven. Okay, so Parker House rolls come out of the oven. We'll let them rest a little bit. And while they're resting, I like to just kind of give them a little bit more yum yum. I like to just kind of give them a little brush of butter. We're splurging today. What you think? I think they look amazing. Once we brush the rolls, then what we'll do is we'll assemble. So I got one. And this, you remember how we, it should just open up just like that. Perfect. We'll take a little bit of our lobster salad. Well, you can find these just about anywhere in Boston, I know. right? <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of our mayonnaise and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit of, so now I'm going to close it and serve you. Thank you. You're that welcome. Looks beautiful. So we're getting ready to enjoy lobster rolls made with Paca House rolls and crystal hot sauce mayonnaise. That Parker roll. Mm. And the crunch of the celery, a little bit of that spice, not too, too much. It's amazing. It's so good. Tastes like and home. easy. Easy to make. Mm-hmm.